Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are looking at question 20 which is valid parentheses. Now this question gets asked a lot in interviews and it's a good question to know and understand so let's get straight into it. So we are given a string s containing the characters that we see on the screen. Basically this string contains three types of parentheses. We have the normal one that we know and we have the squiggly one and we have the square one and as we know each open parenthesis needs a closing one. So if we have this open one, we can close it like this. And this squiggly one has this closing parenthesis and this bracket one has this closing bracket parenthesis. So we have six types of characters. And now we want to determine if the input string is valid. Now they are telling us that an input string is valid if two conditions hold. The open brackets must be closed by the same type of bracket. And again, we have three types of bracket. So we need to make sure that each closing bracket is closing the same type of bracket. Okay. Now the second condition is the following. The open brackets must be closed in the correct order. So looking at example one, we see that we have a string S containing only two characters. We have this open parenthesis and we are closing it with the same type of this closing parenthesis. So this is true. This is a valid, um, you know, parenthesis. Good. Looking, let's look at example two now. We are starting with this open bracket and we are closing with the same type of a bracket. Good. Now we are open another type of a bracket, but we are closing it with the same type. And finally, we have this open squiggly bracket and we are closing it with the same type. So this is also true. Now, what if we have something like the following? If we have this open um, bracket and we have this open bracket, now we have this closing one and this closing one. We can see that this closing bracket is closing this one and this closing bracket is closing this one. So the condition one is holding. Each bracket is closing the same type of bracket, but condition two is not holding. We are not doing it in the same order. Now for this to be true, we need to have the string as follow. We have this open, this open, and now we must close this one first and next we close this one. Now we are closing in the same order. So both of these conditions must hold. So now let's go to the blackboard, explain how can we tackle this and finally we will come back and code the solution out. Here we are at the blackboard and let's look at more examples and analyze them carefully. Let's imagine we have this example. We have an open bracket of this type and we have another one of the same type and now let's close this one and now let's change it a bit. We have another open bracket and let's close it and finally let's close this on first one okay so let's try to solve this example right is this valid parentheses what well, we check okay we have an open bracket we have another open bracket now we have a closing bracket okay now what which bracket is this one closing we see that we are closing the same type of bracket good so these two cancel out now we continue our journey. We see that we have an opening bracket. Okay, it's different type than this one, but I don't care. It's an opening bracket. Now we find another closing bracket. Which bracket are we closing? We see that we are closing this one. And we notice that this is the same type, right? Which is good. So these two also cancel out. And now let's continue we see that we have another closing bracket. Now, which bracket are we closing? We see that we are closing this one right here, which means that this and this cancel out. So this is indeed a valid parenthesis, but let's look more carefully on what we just did, right? Let's see. Well, we did two important things. The first one is the following. We kept moving through the opening brackets until we found a closing bracket. When we find a closing bracket, we stopped and then we started asking which brackets are we closing. So these closing brackets are so important. So one, we need to go through the string until we find a closing bracket. Number two, we need to ask which bracket are we closing. Okay, so let's do that one more time quickly. We see that we have open, we have open, and now we find a closing one. So now we are saying which bracket are we closing? Now focus on this. We are checking the most recent open parentheses. I'm not checking this with this. No, I'm checking this with the most recent open parentheses. Okay, 
So we need a way to check what is the most recent open parenthesis. More specifically, we need a way to store the open parenthesis that we see and we need a way to find the most recent one and do some operations on that. And what is the best way to do that? Well, we have a stack. The stack basically follows the principle of last in, first out. As you can see, last in, first out. So the stack gives us the ability to keep track of the last inserted element or the most recent one. So we can utilize this stack to store all the open parentheses that we see. Now, each time we see a closing bracket, right? We go to the stack, we ask the stack to check the most recent open parentheses, and we need to make sure that the most recent open parentheses is of the same type of the closing parenthesis that we see. So let's try to solve this using this stack, okay? So one, we said we need to keep moving until we find a closing bracket and we need to store all the opening brackets. So we start here, right? We find that we are having an open bracket. So we push it to the stack. So when we say stacks, we have three important functions we say we push to the stack to add an element to the stack we say pop when we want to remove the top element from the stack and we have a peak function which means we only want to check what is the top element of the stack okay so now we have an open bracket which means we want to push to the stack let's continue we have another opening bracket which means we want to push to the stack again now we have a closing bracket which bracket are we closing now instead of me drawing this arrow and checking back we can ask the stack hey stack let's peek on the top element of the stack on the most recent opening bracket in the stack we see that we have this one we have this opening bracket and again our stack holds only open brackets so we go to the stack we check the most recent one the top opening bracket and we see we have this one right here and we see that this one is indeed um, the same type as this closing bracket which means we can take this one and we can pop it from the stack or in other words we are cancelling out this with this good now we continue our journey we see that we have another open parenthesis which means we what we push to the stack let's push it to the stack and we continue our journey. Hey, we find a closing bracket. So we ask, what is the most recent opening bracket? We go to the stack, we peek on the top element. When we peek, we see that we have this um, opening bracket and it is the same type of this closing one, which means we are good to go. Let's pop this element from the stack. We are popping it out, which means we are canceling that element with this. And let's continue our journey we see that we have a closing bracket so which bracket are we closing go to the stack let's peek at the top element of the stack we see that we have this type of opening bracket and indeed it matches this type which means we can pop from the stack and we can cancel that element out as you can see this stack is empty which means we um are matching all the parentheses together and we indeed have a valid parentheses so this is the approach okay now we need to cover two edge cases let's remove this parentheses and let's have another example right imagine if we have this only this we have a string s containing only one character which is a closing bracket so we say, as step one saying, we go through the string, we store all the open parentheses in the stack until we find a closing parenthesis. As you can see, we have no open parentheses, so the stack will remain empty. Now we are finding a closing parenthesis. We said when we find a closing one, we need to go to the stack, we peek at the top element, and we check which type of open parentheses are we having on the top of the stack. But this stack is empty. If you try to peek on an empty stack, you will get an empty stack exception. We don't want that. Okay, so when we see a closing bracket before, okay, before we go to the stack, we check if the stack is empty. In this case, we check the stack is empty 
yes it is empty which means we have invalid parentheses because there is nothing um this closing bracket is closing this is edge case number one let's check edge case number two imagine if we have a string with only one character which is this opening bracket by step one we go through the string and we store all the opening brackets that we see so let's start we have this opening bracket right so we push to the stack good and that's it we're done there is no other element in the string but is this a valid parenthesis no it's not why as you can see this stack is not empty there is no closing bracket for this one so this is the other edge case in other words when we finish pushing and popping from the stack when we finish everything right everything at the end we need to check hey is our stack empty if it's yes then we have a valid parenthesis if it's no we do not have a valid parenthesis okay so let's go to the blackboard now and code the solution out and i will give you a quick recap when we go to lead code okay let's try to code the solution out well we said we need a stack and we explained why because the stack gives us the ability to keep track of the most recent inserted element because the stack follows life or principle last in first out and we said we will store open parentheses in our stack and we need to keep track of the most recent inserted open parentheses so let's create a stack so we have a stack and our stack will have characters because each string is composed of a sequence of characters we want to check individual parentheses or individual characters inside of string s so this string will have characters so let's say um character and let's call our stack open p from open parentheses okay so we have open p from parentheses equals new stack okay now we said we have two steps right we said step one we need to loop through the whole string and each time we see an open bracket we push to the stack until we see a closing bracket which then we go to step two and we need to go to the stack peek at the top element then we check if that bracket is of the same type as the closing bracket if yes we pop from the stack in uh, in other way they cancel each other out okay so let's have a for loop to do that we said we want to loop through the whole string so for int i equals zero i is less than the length of the string or s dot length and we can say i plus plus okay good okay now let's have a variable to hold the bracket that we are on so car let's call it bracket equals the string dot char at i at each index i we want to take the um, bracket at that point imagine if we have i don't know these type of brackets when we go through the for loop we start at int i equals zero which means we are starting here we will take this bracket and putting it inside this variable now when we loop again and we are looking at this one now at index i equals one we go to s the the character at index one which is this we start inside this bracket okay it's just to make the code uh, more organized so now once we store the bracket type that we are at we need to check hey is this an opening bracket if that's the case we need to push to the stack so if the bracket is equal to any one of the opening bracket types so if it's op if it's equal to this and let me copy and paste them because i don't want to keep writing them so if the bracket is this type or if the if the bracket is the other opening type which is this or if it's equal to the last one which is this we need to push to this stack so let's push to this stack so our open p stack dot push and we are pushing the bracket sound good so now let's continue now what if we encounter a closing bracket let's again have our um i don't know our stack and imagine if we have um these two so we have open close open close so let's start here is this an opening bracket yes we push to the stack now we continue is this an opening bracket no it's not but now we said before we go to this stack we need to make sure that the stack is not empty that's an edge case so we say okay else if this stack 
is empty the open parentheses stack dot is empty right if it's empty we said we just return false so return false it's not valid parentheses but if that's not the case the stack is not empty then we can compare uh, what's in the stack so else if if what else if what we have three cases for each type of the bracket so we can say hey if the closing bracket that we are seeing is equal to this one you know the normal one then we hope that the top of the stack contains the same type of an opening bracket and we said we can use the peak method so if the bracket is this closing one and the open parenthesis um, stack dot peak right is equals to the to the opening bracket of the same type which means this then we are safe and we can pop the element from the stack so let's do that so we can say hey open parenthesis stack dot pop which means we are taking this one out from the stack and hey we don't need you and this the and this and this are canceling each other out now we are continuing hey do we have an opening bracket yes we do we push to this stack then we continue again and let me write this one it's it's like this so let's continue um is this an opening bracket no we check is the stack empty no then do we have this type of bracket? No. Then we have another else if for the other type of bracket. So else if the bracket is this type and we go to the stack, we check is the top element the same type? So if it's this, if that's the case, we can pop from the stack. And we need another else if for the third type. So let's copy and let's paste. What if we have this and finally the closing one of the same type we can pop from the stack now if everything if basically if we go to the stack and the parentheses do not match we need to return false so else just return false right good and now at the end if all of this executes and we did not return false we need to return true right no remember the last edge case if we go and we have a string with only open parenthesis like this, we go, we say, hey, if the bracket is open parenthesis, yes, we push to the stack, we skip all the else ifs and the else, and we finish the for loop, we only have one character, and we break. Then should we return true? No, it's not a valid parenthesis. We need to make sure that this stack is empty. So we can say, hey, when what do we need to return? We can say, hey, is the open parenthesis stack that we have dot is empty empty if that's the case we just return true if not we return false you can write this we're using if else you can say if the stack is empty return true else return false but you can do it also this way in java which is a more organized way and that's it let's now run the code and let's submit Okay, so let's look at the time and space complexity. Well, the time complexity is big O of n. Why? Well, because we loop through all the characters of the string. And assuming the string has n characters, the time complexity is big O of n. Now, let's look at the space. What is the space in the worst case? Well, we know we are creating a stack. Now, imagine if we have a string with only open parentheses. We have I don't know, four open parentheses, and we said each time we encounter an open parenthesis, we need to push to the stack. So in this case, we are pushing all the elements to the stack. So in the worst case, the space is also big O of N. Alright, best of luck to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.